Before we jump into summary, what does it mean to retell a story? My hopes and dreams would be that we have a space that our kids feel safe and comfortable so that they can learn and become contributing members of our community. I think about kids who come in in the winter and it's so cold in here that they have to wear their winter coat to stay warm enough to pay attention and learn. When we're worrying about water coming in the window or lack of places to plug in our Chromebooks and other technology, it doesn't give kids what they need in order to do their best work and become um, competent, strong fourth graders. And this is a fourth grade classroom right next door is third grade. One of the things that we deal with every day is this movable wall. Um, it used to be that classrooms might have wanted to be able to open it, have a bigger space, um, but we're next door to a different grade level and that can be challenging because it's not a real wall um, and so we can hear word for word what happens next door. Yesterday, my fourth graders were taking their first math test of the year. They counted it out and then in third grade at that same time, they were doing an activity that was a lot louder. Um, probably group work, kids were talking, there was loud music playing, and you can just see the kids' attention shifting towards the wall um, to listen to what is happening. Really, it's just distracting. Um, we need something that's a little more soundproof so that they can do their best work and feel confident and comfortable in the space that they're doing it in. The referendum is very needed at Evergreen. Our building needs great attention. We just have many outdated pieces around the building. Overall, we're a very functional space because we make it work. The constant interruptions and the, the lack of confidential space for students to work in is, it's just not an equitable learning environment right now. We have many spaces that are shared by multiple staff members. So you could be in a space working with a student and have another group of five students coming in and out at any time uh, to work with another individual. Through the referendum, I think our staff often talks about hopes and dreams. What would you think was a very basic, basic dream? To have the improvements in the building as far as student learning that would allow for, let's say, a teacher of students with an individualized education plan and a speech therapist or a teacher of students who are English language learners. Um, they would all be able to work with students in their learning space and not pull them to another side of the building to do a simple activity. And as much as we can, we meet students' needs in their learning spaces, but we definitely have some obstacles here at Evergreen with shared spaces and just building layout that doesn't allow us to do that as often as we would like to and should.